It was double music this morning for Year 8s at Sutton Grammar School in Greater London. Every boy here took and passed their 11 plus exam to attend this school. For many, it meant hours of extra work and leaving friends they'd made at primary school. But all these boys told me grammar school suits them. I like the atmosphere, the fact that everybody is more or less the same level as me in subjects, rather than I, was, I stuck out like a sore thumb in, a pri in my primary school. But you don't feel like that here? No, I feel like I fit in perfectly. It, it, it's really nice because all of the people here are like really contributing to helping me as well as themselves learn and I didn't quite have that in, uh, some, of my old, in some of my old schools so it is quite nice here. You have to do lots of work outside school to practice for the exams. And what was that like? Uh, tough work. I practiced three years before the exam. Gordon Ironside has been head here for nearly 30 years. He welcomes Theresa May's plans, but I asked him if he really thought grammar schools were fair. Children all develop at different rates. How can it be fair to test them at one age and then say, well, you're allowed to come into a grammar school and, and you're not? Yeah, OK. Uh, we do have further chances to join the school and indeed significant numbers of students join all the grammar schools locally uh, for their sixth form studies. So there is a, a second chance, um, but you can't have people changing every few, few months. You want to get your cohort of students, work with them. Uh, so there has to be an age and, and 11 is the transfer age in this area. Elsewhere in Sutton, grammar schools don't get such a glowing report. Ian Patrick went to one of the five in the area, but hated it. My friends were all at different schools. They seemed to have a, well, I wouldn't say easier life, but more relaxed life than I did. And uh, I was uncomfortable. Just down the road, we spoke to Jacqueline Brock. She sent her two children to local faith schools as she felt the grammar schools were only for the rich. I think the way they portray grammar schools is for the high, higher end, if you know what I mean, the higher end children, like parents with money. I don't think it's fair for, for children that come from poorer backgrounds. Not everyone will be in tune with the Prime Minister's plans, but as the debate begins, school life here and everywhere will have to carry on regardless. Louise Beale, 5 News.